In our story, you will find great visioners who will show you how to get hammered. Jerry will teach you how to taste and make magnificent moonshine. Dr. Professor will drag you into his so-called brilliant experiment. And the cold bastard will suck the sobriety out of your life. Are you ready to experience the worst holidays ever? Then play our demo. But remember, don't do it sober. Aloha and welcome to Hawaii, a destination with endless beauty and nature. Let your troubles melt away in this tropical paradise. Hidden treasures are waiting to be discovered, and the Aloha spirit will leave its mark on you. Get ready for an unforgettable experience that is sure to bring you peace, serenity, and plenty of terrifying, I mean, terrific memories. Hawaii, the destination of a lifetime.
imagine a planet so inhospitable that even your trusty robots will freeze. But your trusty robots are the only ones capable of bringing life back to this frozen planet. Craftomation 101, developed and published by Ludion.io, brings to life cute little robots that will execute your every order, no matter how convoluted it is. Through simple visual programming, you can automate them to craft objects from basic materials, or combine those for more advanced recipes. But beware, the ever-present frost is always closing in, threatening to ruin your terraforming project. The good thing is, you can do every task yourself, but why do it, when you can slowly build a gang of self-sustaining robot workers and watch them execute your orders to terraform the planet? Craftomation 101 is still under development, but you can play it today. Download the demo version on Steam and give it a try, so you can get ready for the eventual full release at some point later in the year. Now let's check some gameplay. The ship lands and so my watch begins. Early on it's a bit of a tutorial start which is telling us to mine and combine stone. That gives us a spark which we can combine with coal to make fire. And fire will melt our frozen ship, giving us a bonfire that we can then light with fire melting more of the snow around. And thusly our first craft mate is born, Bob the Good. Combining stone and coal gives us a coal brick which is there to feed Bob the Good and give him energy. And this is where coding begins. We can tell Bob the Good to go find stone, then grab some more stone, combine those two, grab some coal, combine those to get fire, and then he can drop it on the bonfire to keep it fueled. After that he goes to idle, repeating the whole process. Go Bob, let's do this. And there he goes, slamming together, creating fire, fueling this place. Next we create a brick. Combining brick with coal gives us another bonfire. And that turns our frozen rocket into a command center. And now command center wants 15 stone to give us another craft mate and some research points. So I'm gonna tell our new craft mate to do just that. And here it goes. And that's the last stone he has to deliver, completing the quest. And this unlocks the whole research tree. First let's teach them how to eat. Bob and Todd both ran out of energy right now, so they can't actually do anything for me. But I can refuel them with coal bricks now. And to automate coal brick production, I'm gonna send 5th the Great to do it. That way we'll always have some of these stored in the storage. And I will manually complete this goal, which is gonna give us another craft to mate and some more points. Unlocking the low battery thing, which means I can now add energy check. If their fuel is fine, they'll go back to idle. If not, they'll go grab that coal brick eat it and then go to idle. Look at them go eat now and refuel, you'll love to see it. Next we need to unfreeze iron and that gives us keep the nimble as well. And combining iron with fire gives us steel. And steel is our command center's next goal, giving us two storage boxes. I'll tell Kip to go and start mining it and he's gonna drop it down here in the storage. Next we need to craft a steel plate and feed it to the command center, giving us more craft mates and some more points, which allows us to unlock Unlock even more cool stuff. Our next goal is to create sand. Combining sand with fire gives us glass. And command center desires tan glass. And the warm temperatures gives us more people. More craft mates to keep the fires going. Leading to more complicated things. But that should now automate our production of sand. And with sand we get glass. And that means another command center goal. 